I'm so excited. I have been working so hard on my house, getting things organized, my workspaces. I've shared some of that on this channel and I haven't thrifted in over a month. And so I'm outside of a Goodwill and I am here to shop. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so I'm really frustrated. Um, I feel like it's hard when you haven't thrifted in so long and you come in and you're just not finding much. So I've been here for like an hour and I've only picked up four things that I might get. Um, I do have a coupon for 20% off. So I would like to find some stuff. Um, so let me show you what I found so far. All right, so here's an All Saints, it's size large. It kind of has this interesting, you can unzip it right here. And it just kind of is a sweater. I like it for the size and the simplicity. Um, it is, is it on sale? Yes, it's 25% off. Um, so yeah. And then this is a new brand to me, but it's an anthropology brand because I checked the um, the RN number and it's just a little kimono. And I thought that was pretty cute. This one, what is the sale today? Oh no, this is on sale. This is 25% off. The All Saints is not on sale, but I have the 20% coupon. These are really hard to see, but they do say free people. I don't know if you can see the kind of, a little bit of it right there, um, but I thought these were pretty adorable. They're size 41, um, so a little bit of a larger size, but they just feel really well made. And um, so I think I'm gonna get those. And then I'm not sure about these. The condition isn't great, but they are New Balance, kind of fun, pop of color. They're the 515s. So I'm gonna look them up and see if it's worth it. Um, these are, on 50% off, so they would be 750. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So because I only go thrifting about once a week, at best, I typically will leave a thrift store if I can't find much in the first hour, sometimes even the first half hour, if I can't even find one thing, I'll just leave and go to another store. Uh, this specific day that I'm thrifting, I only had four hours to thrift and I really did want to find some product and going to another store isn't a guarantee that it's gonna be any better. So I decided to stay and see what I could find in a second hour. So here's a Free People Medium. It's a pretty cute style. It's just a little wrinkled, but I just don't feel like paying $9.99. Also, is that discoloration? Looks like there's discoloration right there too. So, and up here and right there. Jeez, hot mess. I also found this um, jacket that feels so incredibly soft. This is not a brand I pick up. I see it all the time. I think it's a California brand. Um, this is so ridiculously soft and it was 50% off, except it's 50% off for $14.99. So when I looked at comps, one of these new attacks had sold for 55 recently, but there are lots of them listed. So I decided to leave that. See, five seconds later, I see this brand all the time. I always pass on it. Normally I am excited about this brand, especially when it is 50% off, but the size tag has been cut out and I don't really do that well with clothing. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, I'm two hours in and I'm still not finding much. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna give this place four hours, um, which it's really painful to do this, but I drove all this way and I need to find product. If I lived 50 minutes away, I would have left an hour ago or, or more. Um, and this is just one of the high, like these are the lows of reselling for me when I have to have a bad thrift day after driving. So I'm gonna give it some more time, fingers crossed, and I will show you the stuff, all the stuff I pick up um, later at home. I am so happy I stayed. Can't wait to show you what I got. Okay, so I'm back home and I just photographed and listed all of these items from that thrift day, the four hour thrift day. 
And I feel like I just need these moments to remind myself to not give up on thrift stores. I guess I have been to thrift stores and spent four hours and still had a bad day. But in this situation, my first two hours were really not great. I was picking up very few items. I think I had like six items at the two hour mark and I was really feeling discouraged. And the second two hours, I definitely found some amazing items. Um, a couple that will probably, one will sell for over 200, a couple that will sell for over a hundred. Um, and I guess, yeah, I just, I don't know what the solution is. Like, do you, do you spend the four hours and risk wasting that time when you could go to another thrift store? Um, because you, there is no guarantee that there will be good stuff or do you just take the chance and stay? I don't know, but that specific day I took the chance to stay. I'm really glad I did. So I wanted to show you the things that I picked up and I'll start with my favorite item. So this was in the men's jacket section. Uh, I didn't get that much. I think I got a couple men's items, but uh, I always typically look at their jackets because I found a couple good ones there. And even though it's not jacket season right now, that's a couple months down the road. And this was not marked up. I don't know why they didn't mark this up because leather jackets, they almost always mark up. But this is All Saints. It's a size small. The great thing about All Saints is you can look up the style because it's it's on the material tag. And this, a number of these have sold between 200 up to 350. And it's kind of this brown, I think a lot of people were labeling this as oxblood. This is a size small, but on Poshmark, there are none available of this style. Um, I'll write on the screen what the style name was. But it's in really great condition and they only had this marked for $9.99, which is insane. So I am so excited. I just listed this for $3.49. Um, I'm hoping to get somewhere around that $2.50 mark and absolutely amazing. I was so, so, so excited about that. All right. A couple of the other things that um, one that pleasantly surprised me uh, because this is a designer, but it's kind of a, uh, a subline of the designer and I don't always have the best of luck selling it. So it's Isabel Morant is the designer and then the line is Etoile. I think that's how you say it. You guys can correct me below. But I saw this in the dress area. It's a jumpsuit and I just snatched it. I was like, this is just unique. It's, um, I'll put up like a stock photo here just so you can see since I can't hold it up entirely. But I kind of look like pajamas and I was like, well, it's funky and funky usually does well for me. Uh, so sure enough on the material tag, it has the style name of this. So I was able to look it up very quickly and I listed this at 200. I'm hoping for somewhere between 125 and 150, depending on how long it sits. But yeah, I was really, really excited about this one as well. I was kind of, when I picked it up, I was like, I think I can maybe get 50. And then when I looked up comps and people had these listed for 200, it retailed for 550. So, and I, I don't know how much this leather jacket retailed for, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was over a thousand. Um, so yeah. All right. The other ones I was pretty excited about, it was a collection of linen dresses. All of them were the same brand except for one. And I have sold this brand before it's got mixed comps. So I don't think it's a quick seller, but a couple of these had really good styles. Now these are longer, so I'll probably just insert a photo so you can see it on my, um, how I photographed it. But this is the brand. It's kind of hard to, to read but it says one, two, zero, and then it's the percentage sign Lino, L-I-N-O, uh, and that's the brand. This is a pretty expensive brand, but I found a collection of dresses. They're all the same size, size 42, which is equal to a US size small. This one's absolutely beautiful. It's got this bottom area that's really intricate and embroidered. I think I put lace on that, so I think I need to go back and correct that it's not lace, it's embroidered. And then there's some buttons up the back. There are a couple small snags in here, which I just noted, but I started this at 150. The comps are hit or miss with this brand, uh, but it is expensive. A lot of their dresses retail for over $500, and I really like that style. This one might have been my favorite one. And again, my lighting's a little off because the ring light's blocking some of it, but 120, 120, percent Lino is that the brand name I don't know how to pronounce it I just I've only sold it once before uh, but this is an absolutely beautiful dress it only has one tiny spot um, down here near the hem I don't know if it's showing right here 
Um, other than that, I couldn't find any spots. Absolutely beautiful, multicolor, very boho. Again, same size, size small. Now these didn't fit on my size six mannequin because they don't really have any give in them. Those, uh, the first dress was silk and cotton. The second one, the, the other three are linen. Um, so this one seems tinier, but it's the same size, which is 42. And this is kind of a long maxi. It's just got this very subtle print or design, not print. And this one looks a lot smaller, but there is actually a little bit of like when you pull on it, it, yeah, it's a little bit wider than it lets on when it's just hanging on a hanger. So anyways, this would probably be more of a fitted style, but it is very long. I think this is the only maxi that I got. And yeah, that one did have a couple spots on there. So I listed that one lower, uh, but still listed high because again, some of these dresses can sell for a hundred to $300. I think I saw one that was that sold for around $500, but again, some of their items only sell for 20 to 50. So yeah, we'll see. But this is the last one from the same brand. It's purple, it's linen. It also kind of has this accent on the bottom, more of a lace on this one. And then there's some detail up here, but again, same size, same tag. And yeah, I was excited about those. And then there was one more linen dress that isn't the same brand, but when I looked up this brand, looks like I might be able to get somewhere between 50, 50 to 60 is my guess. And I thought this was a kind of a cottage core style dress. Um, so I aimed a little bit higher than some of the comps. I can't remember where I started this. I may have started this at 100, I don't know. Anyways, it's a midi, it's got pockets, and it's also linen. The There is no brand tag up here, but I could kind of tell it was quality and the style was nice, and I was like, let me, let me try and figure this out. On the material tag, it has a website. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up. Um, I'm trying to get it in the light. But it says uvita at mail.ru, uh, uvita. So I looked it up and sure enough, that is a brand. So I've never heard of it. Some of the comps are great. So yeah, another, another linen dress. I just had to go take my pasta off. I'm making some lunch right now. And I had some pasta cooking and I didn't want it to overcook. Anyways, here's another leather jacket. This is women's. This brand is hit or miss for me, but it is a pretty expensive designer. Rosai Nichols. Because I've sold this brand a couple times, I recognize the tag instantly. It is a little hard to read on them typically, but I think she created another brand, this designer. Um, so I don't think she makes anything under this label anymore, but this is 100% leather. It just feels very lightweight, butter soft. And what I thought was really interesting about this is the, while you wouldn't wear it this way, you can actually zip it up all the way to the back of the neck. Um, so there's just that zipper accent around the neckline. But it's kind of a cropped three-fourth length sleeve, just a lightweight leather jacket. This one I might only get around 50 to 50 to 75. I can't remember how I priced this, but um, still, yeah. They also did not um, mark that up, which again, I'm surprised. All right, this is a torrid item, but it's new with tags. And I was able to look it up because of the number on the new with tag. The style number and one of these new with tags had sold for 55 even though it only retailed for 69 so I'm probably only expecting around 45 if I had to guess um, or that's what I'm hoping for but it's absolutely adorable it's got this rainbow print to it and it's a cold shoulder but it has the straps up here as well it's a little hard to hold and then on the back it has the uh, why do I always blank on this it's not ruching I'll put it on the screen because I'm sure I'll remember it right after I'm done filming. But it's just a flowy dress. It's absolutely adorable. It's a size 2X. And uh, it wasn't, I mean, I had the 20% off coupon, but I typically don't spend too much on Torrid, but I thought this was definitely worth picking up. Even, even if I only got $40, I think it was worth it. All right, here's another new Attacks item. It's new Attacks Anthropology. It retailed for $118, which is always surprising to me for like a basic... But here's a little anthropology. This is moth. And it's just a knit short sleeve cardigan. So it's nothing like super boho. There's the back. 
but uh, I grabbed it because it's new with tags. I decided I could throw this on the mannequin and um, you know, hopefully I can get somewhere right around that 30 mark because it is new with tags. All right, I grabbed this. I haven't actually sold this brand, but I did just list a jacket by this brand. So it's L-O-L-E. And I believe it's a Canadian brand, right? Yeah, born in Montreal. Uh, but this is just a sleeveless knit uh, hooded top. So I thought it was pretty cute. The back has a little bit of a cutout right at the center of the back. I like the... Um, I just like the look of it. It's easy to throw on a long sleeve top if you're going to work out or going for a run. It just keeps this part warmer um, or just, you know, athleisure. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get much for this, maybe 20 to 25, but I liked it. All right, I did get two Patagonia base layers. And these I typically only get about 20 to $25 for these, but you know, so it might not sell until this winter, but it is a size large, both of them, and they're both in great shape except a little fuzzy on it, <laughs> but a little piece of hair. Uh, but other than that, they're in great shape and I decided to grab them for size. They also weren't marked very much. So I think they were only marked like 450 or somewhere right, right around there. This one's a blue shade or kind of a slate gray blue shade. So anyways, Patagonia, I love those types of Patagonia pieces. Won't get much, but they'll still sell for me. All right, this one is a new anthropology brand to me. I've never seen it, but it's just an adorable little kimono. So it says Anderson and Loth. It's just a one size fits most kimono. I will just, this is always dangerous territory, but oh, this is so dangerous territory because this is absolutely adorable. Uh, anyways, I'll probably only get somewhere between, I think one of these sold for right around 35. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for, but I thought it was pretty cute. All right, here's another anthropology sweater. This one does have a flaw that I didn't, I didn't spot until I cut the tag off when I was photographing, but it's sleeping on snow and it's a size medium. I thought it was absolutely adorable. It's got hook and eye uh, closures on the front uh, top part, and it's just kind of a little fit and flare cardigan with some texture, boho, flirty, feminine. Um, so I liked it. The one downside is one of the sleeves is missing a button. Now, if it were me, I would just cut off the other button <laughs> uh, or someone could just buy two new buttons or just buttons that they have and, and change out the other one and just have that as an accent because these buttons would be pretty hard to um, replace. But yeah, I noted it. I still think with the color and it does have some alpaca in it, I still think I'm hoping for right around 30, but we'll see. Get a couple more men's items. This one was also in the sweater jacket rack for men's. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at it right now and it's reading correctly for me, but if you're reading it, it's backwards, but it says shallow. <laughs> so, uh, and then on the back, the Hugo part is also backwards. So if you're looking at a camera and you're wearing it, it will read correctly. But if someone's looking at you, it will read backwards. Uh, but it's in excellent condition. I couldn't find one like this. Um, it's kind of a cross between a t-shirt and a like a lightweight sweatshirt. It's not really sweatshirt material, but it's, it's a little bit thicker than a t-shirt, if that makes sense. But it is like stark black, like it's never been washed, I don't think. Um, but someone's gonna like this, <laughs> think it's funny. And uh, so I decided to price a little high on that. I think I started it right around 50. I'm hoping for right around 35. Hugo Boss is pretty expensive. This is the Hugo line, which is less expensive, but I just think it's a fun play on the word shallow. All right, this is a pair of men's Duluth trading jeans. Duluth is one of those things that doesn't sell for very much money, most items, but people do buy them, especially if they're in good condition. And these are just size 34, 32 men's jeans, just basic jeans. I'll probably only get 20 to 25 for these, but these were 50% off. So I decided to grab them. Um, even though it won't be a high return, I was fine with that. This was in the men's section. But these are actually my first time finding Guess Green Tag made in the USA. So this little label is green and it says on here made in the USA. It also says it up here. And it's just these really fun acid wash vintage jeans, probably from the 90s is the research I did. Uh, these are size 33, 100% cotton, so no stretch. But uh, the only alteration that someone did, which I think is actually very on trend with today, is they did a little 
cut at the bottom um, for a raw hem. But yeah, uh, if if I could wear these, I, well, I don't know. It's not really my style, but I feel like someone could really rock those. And some of these with the green tag Made in USA, like this um, acid wash, some of the, them were selling for right around 40 to 50. So we'll see. I priced it a little on the high side uh, because it was a good size, but um, yeah. I didn't have much luck in the jeans department, but and this was in the women's, but I did pick up these Eileen Fisher size eight jeans. The reason I did was because I liked the accent of the subtle stripe on the front and on the back. I think it's a very slimming accent to have those long lines um, on the front and the back. So these are nothing super exciting, but I am hoping for maybe right around that 30 to 35 mark for these. All right, I think I showed this one when I was in the thrift store because it was one of my earlier pickups. Now, again, this is All Saints, size large, women's. Um, the style is something the drape, drape something. Anyways, I was able to look this up in the store and some of these in excellent condition were selling for 50 plus, 50 to 70. This one looks a little bit like it's not as black as maybe it started out with. But the cool thing about this sweater is there are two ways you can zip. There's this zipper and you can zip it up at the top of the shoulder or you can zip it up over on the side. So it can be draped like this way or draped like this way. Does that make sense? Anyways, it's a size large. I typically do okay with All Saints size, larger sizes. Some of the smaller sizes typically take a little bit longer for me to sell, but it is an expensive brand and um, yeah, it's kind of a funky style. All right, I did see these at the end of a rack and I didn't look at the shorts area because, you know, in two months we'll be done with summer for, for, some, for some parts of the country. Uh, but these are just Reebok, kind of like booty shorts. A lot of people in CrossFit, when I did CrossFit, would wear these types of shorts. And um, so it's Reebok, size medium, and they're in like excellent condition. No signs of wear. And I thought about bundling these to do one listing, but then I just did two different listings because maybe someone likes blue and they don't like pink or vice versa. So anyways, I'm hoping for right around 20 for each. And they only cost me $2 because they were 50% off. So $2 each. All right, I think I showed these in the store as well and these are some free people shoes i actually found that some of these were selling between 50 to 100 dollars pre-owned these are a size 41 which is equal to women's size 10 but they are absolutely adorable they did make this style i'll write the style name on the screen um, in some other colors as well but it looks like this neutral color seems to be pretty popular so i aimed high with this uh, i can't remember where i started it but Hopefully I'm able to get something 50 to 60 if I, I think I, I think I started around 69. I think I did. I don't know. Anyways, all my stuff is listed by the time this video goes up. All right. There was one that I was, I found this in the men's jackets and it's a women's item and I didn't, I didn't even look it up. I was just like throwing it in. I was so excited by this point that I was finding stuff. This was right after the All Saints jacket and uh, yes, I'm excited, so I'm talking fast. It just happens sometimes. <laughs> um, anyways, it's Pam and Jella. And I do have a jacket that hasn't sold, but I think I priced too high on it. So anyways, I saw this and I was like, ooh, Pam and Jella, okay, I'll grab it. I should be able to get somewhere between 50 and 100. And then I go up to photograph it. Do you see, can you see the problem? Over here, anyone? It's like someone cut off part of the sleeve. Why would they do that? It's like jagged, it's not, I don't think this is intentional. Did someone get it stuck in something and it pulled the jacket? I don't know. Anyways, I have the tag still on it. Um, I'm gonna return it, exchange it rather. So I have my receipt right here. And so that's going back next time I go to Goodwill. And lastly, I did take a glance over at the kids shoes area. And this is the second time this has happened where I found a pair of on cloud shoes in the kids section. Um, I don't know why. Now these are fairly small. These are women's size six and a half, but uh, yeah, some of the comps for this style are between 50 to 75. Um, they do have some light sense of wear and there was a flaw right here. Actually the two pairs of OnCloud um, running shoes that I have also have that same flaw. So I'm not sure, it must be pretty common with this material, but other than that, it's just some light dirt. Um, I'm still hoping for somewhere between 50 and 75. So 
that is it. Uh, I am excited that this day turned out good because I had waited over a month to go thrifting and it was just not starting out great. But I definitely may have found some amazing things and I've already got it listed. So I'm excited to go thrift again soon and I'll be back with another video soon. So be sure to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.